Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to sell tickets on Wix store in 2024. So Wix, first of all, is a powerful platform that allows you to create some stunning websites and even sell tickets for your events with ease as an example. So in this tutorial, we'll walk you through the steps to set up your ticket sale on Wix store. So make sure to stick by and let's get started before we start with this video make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience first you'll need to go and open a browser here i'm using brave for you you can use this where you want once you open it go to the seattle section basically you have to go and ask wix.com so go and type wix.com in here once you do so you'll be taken to the dashboard of course if you already like uh, logged in into your account if it's your first time basically you'll be taken to this page instead if you have an account by any chance, you can simply go to the top right corner and click on login to login into your account. And if you don't have an account, click on get started instead. And as you can see, it's you can start for free, no credit card required. So if you click on login, as you can see, you'll be able to log in. You can use Google, Facebook, or Apple. And the same will be for getting started. As you can see, you can use even Google and Facebook if you don't want to get through all the boring steps of creating or even logging in into your account. So once you do so, you will find normally yourself on a dashboard like this. So you would like, of course, to go and create a site if you don't have a site already. Basically, you can click on create a new site here and you can choose the option that you want. You can use your own template, start from a blank site when everything is white, like blank, or you can choose a template that they have, or you can simply use the Wix editor right away. Choose whatever suits you and create your site to sell your tickets on it. So once you create your site, you can start adding the Wix event to the app. As example for me here, I'll just go and create like a blank site. So yeah, so do blank canvas here. I will create a blank site as you can see uh, to show you how to sell tickets on it. Of course, I'll not customize it for you. Make sure to customize it, add the colors, add the pictures of your events, add everything of your events, of course, to your uh, site before like doing anything. As you can see, when you start with blank, nothing, you have nothing, everything is blank. So make sure to spend some time editing the header, the footer, uh, maybe like add some pages, maybe as an example, events page, about me page, like a contact page. Of course, you don't have to do it by your own. If you go here to pages, as example, in this left panel, we can simply just go and click on add a new page and click on add and you can give it a name. And of course, there's a lot of templates to choose from, as you can see from a design section, as an example. So if you click here on design section as you can see so you have a lot of sections like uh, i don't know about me section uh, services section products section whatever you want you even have this event section so let's say i want to add an event section as example so create and manage events sell tickets collect rsvps and more you can customize your registration form view and manage your guest list promote events with marketing and check in guests on the wix app so I'll just go and click add to site and it will be added to this site right away. As I said for you before, make sure to add some like pages, customize your uh, sites first, add some colors as an example, add some pictures, some background pictures, just make your site alive so it can attract people. So as an example, in here, in here, once we go to this list panel, click on the plus, as you can see, we uh, go to events and we click on plus and the event section is added to our sites so now if i go here as example to whatever place click on it on the section that's added we'll find a button called manage events if we go and click on that button as you can see they will take us to this pop-out here so as you can see no published events yet you can start creating a ticket or as uh, RSVP event and publish it, invite guests and promote your event and manage guest lists and track orders. So just go here and click on add events. And here, as you can see, you can start filling up the information of your events. So first fill out, uh, out uh, basic like events info. After this step, you can set up some video conferencing tickets, uh, registration, and much more. So what is the event type? Is it tickets events or are uh, us VP events as an example? For me, it's a ticket events because I want to sell tickets. So general info, name, I'll just name it test as an example for me. So short teaser, it's just optional. You don't have to fill it up, but I'll just type here just a like testing around 
for you make sure to fill up those information even if it's optional because it will excite the visitors of your site and the events image of course you'll have to add that necessarily so i'll just go here and upload something from my own pc as an example and yeah i'll just upload this one as an example why not so let's just wait yep good i'll just go here and click on it as an example this is the events of course you can update this you can delete it you can do whatever you want you can add categories as an example create some categories maybe as an example for me i'll just name this category test and you can add multiple categories for example maybe vip category or something like that and etc click on confirm for the dates and time what is this first of all it's a single event recurring event or to be decided whatever you want so if it's a single event you'll have to choose the start time of that event maybe as example this at this exact time and when it's going to end maybe the event is going to be three days so you'll have to choose the starter time of that event maybe an example will start at 2 p.m and it will end as an example until night so maybe as an example until like 11 p.m why not and here you'll have to choose the time zone depending on where the events will be as an example and here the display show events and the of course dates and time if you don't want if you don't want to show it don't check this option and show time zone you can show it also for the people so they can understand which time zone maybe as example you're famous and people will travel from another country to that country that you're doing the events on so it's better if they know the time zone so make sure to check them both if you want them both and to change as you can see the format dates time for all events you can go to regional settings for the location as it's going to be physical location or online or to be decided as an example Maybe it's a physical location or even online, depending on whatever you want. If it's online, you'll have to give it a title. If it's a physical, you'll have to give the location. So let's say it's online, as example, I will give it a title of test. About the events, type anything about the events, then simply just go and click on create. Once it's created, you'll be able to go and add tickets to your events, as example. So click on add tickets, click on create tickets, and as you can see, you'll have to choose the uh, tickets option. So as example, there's tickets for uh, like just entering maybe as, as example, and maybe the, or as example, I'll just choose VIP here. So you can give it a description. The, uh, the pricing method is a fixed price, price option, pay what you want or free. So it's a fixed may maybe, maybe in the price example, I'll put it 1000, which is here a hundred dollars. Other than that, uh, tickets quantity example, do you have like some specific uh, number of tickets for vip you can simply choose that maybe have 20 vip and tickets fee as example pass fee to the buyer or absorb the fee depending on whatever you want so i'll just do pass fee to the buyer here tickets policy make sure to enter it here and set tickets bill uh, sale for per year you can sell it uh, you can put it or if you don't want to put it you don't have to then click on create a ticket and this ticket will be automatically added to your store section right here once you refresh this page with your events of course in there so that's going to be it for me today now you can publish your store you can preview it also if you can see everything is working as intended so that's going to be it for me today thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next video so goodbye